every living creature since he has to survive he has to protect himself he has given violence in him because for self protection he needs to be aggressive somewhere it is understood that the bigger one pounces on the smaller one and this is how the whole cycle goes on and on but now when humans have come humans also when they have to uh, protect their own interest they bring violence there is something like in yoga we use the word hinsa humans have to think that anything which may be good for them but if it's not good for others they are not supposed to do that action humans don't have to live like animals they have to take care of everyone around we have to be together care for each other think for each other feel for each other each other pray for each other we should do all these things then hinsa would be reduced first step in yoga is follow non violence ahinsa now this step itself tells you that from animal life you have to come to a human life it's a shift from animal to human and that's a very big effort because naturally person would like to protect himself he would want to do things for himself be a selfish person in yoga they say that this selfishness is deep rooted into our personality because biologically we are animals so we have to become aware and alert to see that we take care of this animal instinct and come to human level i definitely should take care of myself that is my first duty but if my this duty is hurting somebody it would be wrong so follow the path of ahinsa only a strong people can follow the path of ahinsa we get angry we get disturbed we get upset we expect from others so humans have to come up human should know that they have strength within them they are potentially divine and they need not follow the path of animals we have been given with that intelligence with us this instrument mind which has tremendous capacity develop the strength of mind see that you don't take to violence speaking loud talking bad about somebody expecting that if you have helped someone he is going to help you in return this expectation that is the main cause of all our suffering our ego our attachment our hatred all these are the causes where hinsa is bound to happen so become aware aware about our lack clashes and go above these things whole world is my family i have to see that all my actions are beneficial to the world and not just beneficial to myself once this concept comes in our personality we would follow ahimsa through ahimsa gandhi ji has brought independence very big step otherwise it was very difficult but now ahimsa paramo dharma that slogan is very strong that our first dharma duty is to follow ahimsa that's the first step of yoga and we should be starting the yoga study through this step ahimsa